Good morning everyone, it's Monday the 29th of June and I've got a workout for you today to do if you'd like to do it. So let's start in that side position with toes facing forwards, a gap between those legs about hip distance apart, drawing in through your belly remember, lifting up to that rib cage, just circle the shoulders back, making sure they're nice and stabilised before we get going. And let's take a deep breath in, lifting the arms up, reaching the arms to the sides and let's take a reach down that right leg, stretching, reaching up over to the other side. And gently release, reaching down the other leg, and then stretching up and to the other side. Fantastic. Let's draw the arms up again. So big deep breath in, inhaling, exhale, and again, exhale, reach down the leg. Just lifting, stretching over, and one more to the other side. So reaching down the leg, and again, reaching up, stretching over. Fantastic. Let's gently release the arms, just gently let them rotate around that waist. Quick stretch out for that spine, just mobilise it. And just one more here. And then draw it back into centre. Let's take those hands to those hips this time, just gently lifting that knee up. Circle out to the sides. And then lift. And again, circle out. And draw back up. Two more here. And last one and then releasing the foot to the floor. Let's lift the other leg, so lift the knee up, circle out to the sides and draw it back in. And again, two more. Last one, and gently release the foot to the floor. So just gently drop that chin to your chest, rounding through the spine, just release, soften those knees, rolling down towards the toes, and gently push through the weight through the legs and rolling back up to the top. So again, deep breath in, exhale, change your chest, rounding through the spine, release the arms. And again, pushing through the feet and rolling back up to the top. One more time, and again, deep breath in, exhale, change your chest, relax those shoulders, let the arms dangle, rolling down towards those toes. And then just gently walking those hands forward this time, so we're gonna bring ourselves into that plank position. Holding here, pushing that tailbone up into down facing, have a stretch here. You might find it's quite nice to lift up one knee, lifting up that heel and then just gently switching leg, have a nice stretch there. And again, pushing through those legs into that calf a little bit, stretching out those calves. And again, two more. And one more here. And then just gently releasing both heels and try to push those hands into that mat. Really deepen that stretch through the shoulder and the back. And then gently releasing down onto those knees, pushing that tailbone back towards your heels. Just bring the hands forward onto the mat. And then gently release yourself back into a tabletop position. So let's bring those hands underneath those shoulders, knees directly underneath the hip. Now let's start with a cat stretch first of all this morning. So let's gently round your spine, lifting up towards that rib cage, release the head down to look towards your belly button. So you want to lift up nice and high, and then we're going to do it in the opposite direction. So we're going to push that tailbone up, dip in the lower back, flip the head up into that inverted cat stretch or the cow stretch. And again, tucking your tailbone under, rounding, lifting up nice and high, release the head down. And again, pushing that tailbone up, dipping the lower back, flip the head up. Let's just do that a couple more times. A nice way to stretch out your back before you get going. And again, push that tailbone up towards the ceiling, dipping the lower back, flip the head up, shoulders away from those ears. And your last one, tucking the tailbone under, rounding all the way up that rib. And again, push that tailbone up. Dip in the lower back, flip the head up, and gently releasing into that tabletop as you say, that neutral spine. So let's start with that right leg and that left arm. So we're going to extend the arm and leg away, and just keep your toes on the floor for a moment. And if you're comfortable, we're going to extend that arm and leg away here. So let's carry on with that cat stretch, okay? So we're going to gently draw the elbow and the arm in towards that chest, and then we're going to reach out. So again, lifting up into that cat stretch as you bring the knee and the elbow in, 
and then reach out. So engaging your core muscle at the same time. So engage as you draw it in. A little bit for balance as well. Two more. Bring it in. And then stretch it away. Last one. Draw it in. And then push it away. And then gently release it to the floor. Let's try the other side. So this time, left leg, right arm extends away. So if you're comfortable, lift up, point the toes away. So nice straight back, remember. And again, elbow and knee, drawing into that cat stretch. And then push away and lengthen. And again, gauging the core muscles. And then push. And again, drawing in. And then push. Two more. Pulling in. And push. Last time. And then push away. And then release it to the floor. Just push the bottom back towards your heels. Have a quick stretch. And let's bring ourselves down onto our elbows this time, okay? So we have the elbows underneath the shoulders. And we're going to just gently extend those legs back into that plank position yeah so just holding your plank for a moment if you want to drop onto your knees okay to make it a little bit easier please do just make sure you're not too rounded up here guys okay take that bottom down level with your back yeah or up on your toes if you want to so let's just hold it for a moment guys so remember really important to breathe when you're doing your planks okay guys just hold it here last three Two more, one, and then gently release the knees down. Take underneath those hips, push back, have a quick stretch. So let's add on to that plank, okay guys, yeah? So remember, if you want to keep it easy, you're going to keep your knees down on the floor. So you're going to just hold your plank and you don't need to do anything else with it. If you're up on your toes, okay, we're going to be walking one knee in, the other, hold, and then we step it back straight into plank. Are you ready? Yeah? So, choose your option, yeah? So, bring it into plank first, hold, just five of these. Here we go. Right leg, left leg, push back, plank, hold. And again, right leg, left leg, other leg, hold. And again, right leg in, left leg in. Right, hold. Two more. Right, left, Step back, step back, hold. Last one. Right leg, left leg. Right leg back, left leg hold. Can you hold it a bit longer? Hold. Three, two, one, and release it all the way down. Fantastic. Just stretch those arms away. So we're coming straight down onto the floor for the bit of back, back work this time, yeah? So let's bring ourselves down. So elbows out to the side. Let's start with a nice easy swan dive preparation exercise. Relax those legs, deep breath in, exhale, drawing in through your belly, floating that chest away. So chin tucked in, neck is nice and long, not too much pressure in your arms, and then gently lower. And again, exhale, and lifting. So just make sure that you're checking your body alignment when you're lifting yourself up into that back raise, okay? Just check that you can feel the lengthening through the front of that chest. Your neck is nice and long with the chin tucked in and your eyes are looking down onto the floor. And then gently lower. So two more, and again, exhale, drawing in, lifting that chest away. And then gently release. Last one here, and again, exhale. Lifting. And then gently releasing to the floor. Let's add the arms this time, so we're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, drawing in, float the arms up off the floor. So we're gonna extend the arms forwards, we're gonna sweep them out to the sides, and we're gonna draw the elbows in. So we imagine that we're doing that thrust stroke, yeah? Sweep the arms out, and then draw it in. And again, so I'm not going to lower my chest if I can. And again, two more. Extend, sweep out to the side, and in. Last one. Draw it in, hold. Let's reverse. So extend, sweep round, 
and forwards and in and again out to the side sweep forwards and in out forwards and in can you do two more here we go sweep out last one behind sweep forwards stretching forwards and then bring it all the way to the floor okay so remember we did that with our legs down on the floor but we're going to lift the legs up on the next one but i'm going to do it from the front forward view yeah let's see if we can do it here guys yeah so remember bring yourself down onto the floor here so again deep breath in exhale draw the arms up lift the legs off the floor yeah so here we go extend the arms forward sweep the arms out to the sides draw in with the elbows and again forward sweep out and in so exactly the same thing as you do when you do a brush stroke and again two more really good for your back work as well remember you can lower the legs down if this is too much for you last one sweep forward out to the side draw in with the elbows let's reverse so push it back the elbows extend the arms behind sweep forwards and in and again out to the sides and in extend sweep round and in two more last one extend the arm behind sweep round forward elbows in and release it to the floor so let's gently push back onto those hands and knees pushing the bottom back towards your heels and do have a really big stretch on your back this time yeah Okay, so before we go on to our backs with some work on your core muscles, let's focus a little bit on those legs as well. Okay, guys, so I'm going to bring yourself down onto one side. Now, remember, you can lay your head down onto the floor if that's more comfortable, or you can prop yourself up if you prefer. Okay, so we're going to bring the knees in, okay, so they're level. That's if you're sitting on a chair with a right angle of those legs. We're going to lift the feet up off the floor. You can point your toes away, you can relax your toes. I don't mind which one you do. And we're going to just hold it here for a second, guys. Okay, so make sure you're nice and comfortable to be on the side. If you need to roll up your mat, okay, and bring it underneath that hip if it feels a little bit um, hard on your hip or anything, guys. Yeah, so we're going to lift the feet up first of all. We're going to lift the leg up and then squeeze it back down. And again, so again, be mindful what happens with your bottom. When you're lifting the leg, okay, don't lift it really high okay and your hip rolls behind okay it needs to stay facing forwards okay so if anything reduce yeah that gap to make sure you keep your hip facing forwards and again one more time so we're going to lift up and then gently lower but this time lift up extending bring it back and squeeze and again lift extend bring it back and squeeze three more so we're just firing up those legs. Last one. Lift, extend, and draw it back. Okay, let's hold that top leg up this time, yeah? Extend, bring it back. Extend, bring it back. Extend, bring it back. Can you do five more? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, hold it, circle, yeah? into those circles what you want to do is feel like that legs have a bit of a workup and notice how i'm still keeping my bottom foot off the floor okay to get that balance challenged as well here we go two more and one more here and hold it here guys let's reverse yeah so here we go back and forwards back and forwards so you just go yeah as wide as you want to or as small as you want to last one and hold it here bring the foot back and then squeeze the legs together and release it to the floor yeah so you should have felt that a little bit on your glutes as well and let's draw ourselves up and let's take it straight over to the other side as well so again bring yourself down to the floor pop your head up if you want to that's comfortable bring your knees in 
So line your body up, so make sure your ankle and knees, hips and shoulders are stacked on top of one another, so you haven't completely collapsed forward or back, okay, so you're nice and comfortable here, first of all. So remember, picking up both feet off the floor first, point the toes away if you want to, or you can keep your toes relaxed. Here we go, so we're gonna just lift and lower. So remember I said to you about being mindful of what's happening over here. You can look at your body alignment while you're here. Do make sure you're compressing with that belly as you lift the leg up to give you that support as well. Two more. And last one. Brilliant. Fantastic. This is our big station. We lift, extend, bring it back and close. So it's quite quick. Okay, we're not going too slow on this one. And again, lift, extend, bring it back and in. Last one. Lift, extend and bring it back. So let's open that knee up again. It's extend, bring it back, extend. Yeah, so we're just pointing the toes forwards, pushing away with that leg. Two more. One more. Fantastic, guys. So point it away and extend, circle. Yeah, five and four. Three and two. Last one here. Here we go, reverse. So forwards and down. So it doesn't matter how big you make a circles, okay? As long as you can maintain your stability through your body is all I'm asking. And again, two more. Last one. Hold, draw it back, squeeze and release it to the floor. Nice and easy, guys. Fantastic. Okay, let's roll ourselves onto our backs, okay? So we're ready to do a bit of core work here this time, yeah? So we're going to start first of all this morning, I was going to say this evening, this morning, yeah, with the frog exercise. So what we're going to do is bring the knees on top of your hips and we're going to bring, yeah, your heels together, okay guys. So I want you to part your knees and just have your heels touching and they need to stay touching throughout the exercise. You can either point your toes away or you can keep them nice and relaxed and so they're slightly flexed if you want to, yeah. Keeping your head and shoulders to the floor, okay? And you can press those palms into the floor if you want to. So let's take a deep breath in. Now, as you exhale, I want you to gently bring your legs together, squeeze your legs together, and then bring it back. And again. And in. And again. And in. Two more. And again, last one. Let's add the head and shoulders to some. Here we go, lift up and in and again and in. So remember, those knees are going to come back on top of those hips. You've got to keep those heels together, squeeze your legs together. Two more. Last one. And let's see if we can hold out just for a little bit longer. Here we go, hold, four, three. Two, and bring the knees in, hug it in, and then gently rock side to side to release it off. Gently release the feet back to the floor this time, and let's bring the heels nice and close to your bottom. So let's give it a deep breath in. As you exhale, gentle pelvic to peeling the bottom off the floor. Start to lift the hips up, into that bridge we go. So remember, gap between those hips, Toes are facing forwards. Yeah, remember, just holding here. And then exhale, gently release. So again, nice deep breath in, and exhale, gentle pelvic tilt, peeling your bottom off the floor, start to lift your hips. So don't be in a hurry to get to the top, okay? Take your time so you can feel every part of your vertebra peeling up, holding at the top, and then exhale, release. So again, when you get to the top, remember not to squeeze your glutes too hard. Try to activate your internal muscles, your pelvic floor muscles. And again, exhale, gentle pelvic tilt, peeling your bottom off the floor. Gently lifting. And then gently release. So just two more here. So you can really focus on doing them well. We don't need to do lots. And again, exhale, gently peeling up, lifting. And then releasing. So one more time, and again, deep breath in, and exhale, gently peeling up. 
just holding and then exhale gently releasing back down to the floor fantastic just bring those knees in towards your chest just hug it in roll yourself back up to the top fantastic okay let's focus a little bit on your balance and your core muscles here okay so what we're going to do is bring ourselves up into a seated position yet yeah, with the feet down on the floor and the hands are just going to go behind the back of the thighs for a moment guys yeah so what we're going to do first of all yeah is we're going to lift the legs up off the floor now when we're up in this position what i want to see is your back is nice and straight okay so if you're rounded okay it's not going to work your core as much okay so remember just lifting and holding here so your back is straight now we're going to extend the arms. So if you find that really difficult, how about you just lower your feet to the floor and just extend your arms, more, but keep your back nice and long, okay? Because everything is still working, even though your toes are touching the floor, and we extend the arms because the back is straight, okay? But if you're okay, you're going to lift the feet up off the floor. Now, if you want to do something a little bit more advanced, you're going to lift your legs up so they're straight. So they're going to be in this position here. But remember, yeah, your hamstrings need to be strong to be able to hold here, yeah? So most people will prefer to come to this position or on this position here okay so I'll just show you from the front view okay we're just going to hold it for a few breaths okay so remember easy option toes touching the floor back is straight hold yeah level two lift the feet up off the floor and hold level three we're going to lift up to the ceiling and hold it here yeah but you choose which one you want to do but you're going to maintain a nice straight back when you're in that position remember guys yeah so let's go with five breaths here. I'm going to do the middle one and hold. Here we go. Yeah, just breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. And again, inhale so you can feel it all work through your legs, through your back, through your core. So don't let that back collapse. Remember, nice straight back still. And again, here we go. Two more. Last one, and then gently release it to four. Slide those legs away. Do have a reach forward, have a quick stretch away. So let's throw those legs extended away. We're in a perfect position to go into that spine stretch forward. So let's just place those hands to the floor, okay? Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, dropping that chin to your chest, rounding over those legs, extending the arms forward, just reaching. And then inhale, sliding back up, vertebra by vertebra, stacking that boss spine so it's nice and long. And again, exhale, here we go, chin to chest, rounding over, reaching forwards, holding. And again, inhale, drawing back up. Now you might find each one that you do, you can go a little bit further, yeah? If you remember, we're stretching that spine. So if you feel like you can't go very far because your hamstrings are so tight, okay? Try doing the option of maybe just crossing your legs, okay? So that you're rolling forward and you're reaching over those legs, okay? So you still get that spine stretch. So inhale, drawing back up to the top. And again, exhale. So lots of different ways of doing it. Remember, because we're trying to focus on your back is stretching rather than on your hamstrings. And again, inhale, drawing back up. So not everybody is flexible, okay, guys, yet, but we're going to work with what we've got. So rolling forwards and hold. So just holding there. And then gently lifting back up to the top. Fantastic, guys. So whilst we're up here, let's go into that spine stretch, go into that spine spine twist as well so hands together this time deep breath in exhale rotating over towards your right so remember keeping your back nice and low to be able to stretch and mobilize and again brace it back to center and exhale and again back to center and exhale and in And draw it back into centre. One more on each side. And again, exhale, rotating over towards your right side. Good. And centre. Last one over to your left. 
and take it back into center. Let's take those legs apart this time for that sore to finish with as well. So remember taking your legs apart only to the point where it's comfortable to keep your legs extended, okay? So if you find it's really difficult, you might want to bend your legs slightly, okay, guys? Or bring your legs in, that will make a huge difference with the legs. And you can still do the same exercise when we're reaching forward with the legs slightly forward as well. So pushing that tailbone back, remember, sitting up nice and tall. So pick up to that rib cage, shoulders away, arms extended away, yeah, and make sure they're level with your shoulders as well. So deep breath in, as you exhale, we're rotating over towards your right side, we're gonna reach forward, so remember, back arm is up as well, guys, as you reach to the outside of your ankles, three pulses, here we go, three, two, one, and center, other side. So rotating, reach, remember, back arm up, here we go, three pulses, three, two, one. So we want both arms working during this exercise. Rotate, reach. Here we go. Three, two, one. And again, three, two, one. Couple more here. And again, exhale, rotate, fold forward. Pulsing for three, two, one, in. Remember that, squeeze that belly. Remember when you're folding. Here we go. Three, two, one. One more each side if you can. Last time. And again, exhale, rotate, fold, three pulses, three, two, one, and bring it back to centre, yeah? Pull those legs in, just gently cross those legs. Let's have a reach forward, guys, yeah? So stretch away. And then gently roll yourself back up. Okay, guys, take your legs over to one side this time, yeah? So just placing that sole of the foot into that right thigh, yeah? We're going to hold one hand to the floor. We're just going to lift up, stretch it away. And then bring it all the way to the floor. Change over to the other side. Bring that foot into the thigh, yeah? Just reaching up, stretch. Oh, that's a nice stretch. And then release it to the floor. Fantastic, guys. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that one, guys. Yeah, I've already had a workout before I even started this one. So I'm all a little bit hot and sweaty, actually. So I will see you again this week, um, sometime later in this week. But I hope you enjoyed this workout and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, everyone.